Right, I'm back with another video because I just got a chance to take my hardtail to the Ashridge estate for a spin and it's an interesting place so I took some video and this is it. Okay, so here I am at Ashridge which is a big National Trust estate down in the southeast of England. It's 5,000 acres of fields, woodland and loads of off-road cycling trails. It's not a dedicated trail centre as such and it's also not the most high octane of mountain biking spots but there's plenty of routes to have a good potter around. My plan on this day was to park up and head east along some forest trails before turning back and dropping down to stop at Musette Cafe before heading back up to the car park. So I set off from the car park on my mountain bike, which is a white 801, which I upgraded over the lockdown. I'll get into that in a bit more detail shortly. And as soon as I got off the road and onto the trail, I was cursing myself because I've been down here before and know how boggy this bit can get at this time of year. Um, so I quickly whipped out my phone to look for an escape route and ended up heading back towards the ridge line that Ashridge sits on which is typically drier at this time of year the trails there are just a bit more hard packed and gravelly and make for easier riding when it's wet like this so I eventually get back to the edge of the ridge line and then start dropping down towards the village of Albury and this steeper terrain is really where the benefits of the changes that I made last year come to the fore the chain drop that I was suffering from previously has, has gone, the new narrow wide chain ring has really eliminated that. The tubeless conversion that I did gives a lot more traction because I can run lower tyre pressures now without fear of a puncture. And the new brakes have been an absolute game changer. These new ones, um, SLXs, have just got much lighter action and just give a lot more control when going down rougher terrain. All in all, really pleased with those upgrades haven't got a drop a post on here yet so that'll probably be the next change I do and hopefully the subject of my next video. The route then took me to the village of Oldbury which I associate with two things. One, Midsummer Murders because it's where a lot of the outdoor shots for that series is, are filmed but it's also home to Mazette Cafe which I believe was set up by a cycling photographer called Simon Gill and I wanted to stop in here because it's normally a good place to see lots of interesting bikes but unfortunately I drew a blank on that front this day. Despite being sunny it was bitterly cold so I think I'm gonna have to stop back another time and try and get some shots of bikes but um, didn't spend too long here because I got my Kelly kettle in the car which I was planning to fire up after the ride to make a coffee. Now getting back to the start of the route means going up Tom's Hill and the road route up Tom's Hill is a well-known hill climb venue. It's about 850 metres at 7.5%. But the off-road climb is, is shorter but a lot steeper. And this section I'm on here is about 150 metres at 25%, which is absolutely brutal. I actually bought a flapjack at Musette, but I saved it for after the ride because I just didn't fancy washing it off the handlebars at the end of this climb. So eventually pops out at the hairpin of the Toms Hill road climb and I just parked up a little bit beyond that and as soon as I got back to the car park I just chucked the bike on the roof rack and found a safe space to fire up the Kelly kettle. Now I first saw one of these being used by the fishing legend Chris Yates back in the early 90s on the series of Passion for Angling and it's essentially a flask within a flask which you can see from this cross section so you light a little fire at the base um, I just use wood chippings from the bottom of my log pile as fuel and then you put the flask on top and then just drop fuel in through the chimney at the top and it boils a litre of water incredibly quickly um, it's quite remarkable how quickly it boils obviously I've edited this video but a thermos would probably be easier but I just love lighting fires and love using this so didn't dwell too long over getting this shot lone bloke squatting in woods a uh, bit scary and that's a little trip to Ashridge done I've barely scratched the surface here to be honest so might be one to come back to in the future and that is it for another video next up it's dropper post time